What is going on everybody? Jedi from the block here and today I'm bringing you some smite build videos. Today I'm bringing you Rajin, uh, a guy that's really underused now after he came out. He's very overpowered and people still don't realize that and they keep forgetting to use him. I'm sure there's a lot of good players out there who do use him but it's rare to see him. But uh, let's go ahead and get this started. I'm at level 20 for you guys so we can get you right started. If you're playing um, Conquest, start with your 1, then get your 3, and then get your 2, and then put your alt in there, obviously. And just repeat that process. Jaws players, just get all 3. Always get all 3. So just get your alt filled in. So we're going to start this build. Okay, so with Rajin, you don't need speed. Just get choose a Magi. After that, get Kronos Pendant, Radha Hudi, City and Shard. These are just all your basic build stuff. I understand that, but I'm going to show you how to benefit the most with them. Well, let's scratch that real quick here, guys. So we're going to keep all the items I just said. That was my bad. I should have put this in order for you a little bit better. So Shoes of Magi, Book of Thoth. Okay, remember Book of Thoth second. You want to build on that. Kronos Pendant, Rod of Tehuti, City and Shard. And the reason why I do Obsidian Shard is just to have that penetration to help you get in there and just do the damage. Um, now, this is a really good one, too, because it's doing maximizing their damage. So, Soul Reaver, I would probably put Soul Reaver in there. Definitely put Soul Reaver in there. Okay, so, now that you have that, you're going to want to go Sanctuary. After Sanctuary, you're going to want to go with a Speed Boost for Sprint. Now, we're going to take a look where we're at. We're sitting at 702, 702 damage, and that's pretty good. So that's your base. Now, with his passive is every time you hit four basic hits, your next ability used is does additional damage. So with your one, your line damage. So you just did a lot of damage there. Not really trying to calculate too much of that. Okay, so you're coming in, damn near you hit him with that. You're doing so much damage. Now you could be a, you could be, a, you could probably be really crazy and go with probably like a a blink item but uh, I don't know so hit him with that hit him with that and you would have killed him the reason why uh, your your two is pretty good is because it's a you mark a target and um, it pretty much makes it so like the enemy is your your base target and it causes additional damage and stuff like that so it's really good to have so we're gonna cause that on raw coming on raw jumping on him and that's raw. You see how much damage we just did? I don't even think I can calculate that. Hold on, let's see if I can just... Scoreboard. Now nah, that won't let me calculate that. Okay. So, remember, hit him with the two, come in with your lightning, drop it, hit him with your one. You guys know I like to bring you guys like the best videos I can, like... My quality of video is pretty pretty crappy right now. It's because of my connection between my system and my, my computer. I'm working on fixing that as soon as I get a little bit more stuff going here. So, guys, again, remember to hit him with that two. Make sure you mark your target. Go in with your three. Hit him with your basic one. And you would have done. There you go. <laughs> it's just insane how much damage he puts out. He's so undervalued in this game. I can't believe it myself sometimes. Um, if you wanted to be a little more crazy about it, now you can use your alt. <laughs> you see that, guys? And the thing that you got to remember with him is you all you don't want to forget it is that after four basic successful or after four successful basic attacks, you gain an additional damage to your one of your your abilities. So now you got that come in. You could do crazy stuff with him. Like you could do a, a lot of damage with him with uh with just running your one. Like your one is so powerful. He's just so fast. I mean, like for being as big as he is, I thought when he first came into the game, I thought he was gonna be a tank. But that's not what they did. It's not what they did. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this build video. I hope this helped you. Um, let's go through it one more time before I go. So you want to get Shoes of Magi for the damage and the penetration. You do not need the other one. You don't need Shoes of Focus because you don't need mana recovery. And, well, you don't, need even, you don't need mana, and you don't need to do any type of cooldowns because of his power. 
Next, Book of Thoth. You want to get Book of Thoth going because you want to make sure you have your build going because that's going to help you later down the line. Next up, you're going to want to go with Chronos Pendant just because you want to get that cooldown. That's because it gives you damage as well. If you didn't have the damage, I'd say don't get it because cooldowns are worthless when you play as this guy. Next, you're going to want to ride it to Hoodie because it's going to increase your magical power by 25%. It's also 125 magical power, which is fantastic. Next, Obsidian Shard. The reason why that is because it gives you 33 magical penetration with 70 magical power. Okay, last but not least, you get Soul Reaver because it, it does an additional 10% of their, their damage to their health, um, or it does damage to 10% of their health, and if multiple gods are hit, the damage is applied to the one with the greatest maximum health. So it's uh, it's your call um, how you want to go about building with that. You could actually take Soul Reaver out, if, or Soul Reaver if you want, and you want to put in something a little different, like um, you could definitely put in Bancroft's Talon, that's your choice, or if you want to build a little bit differently, you could go ahead and put like Doom Orb in there. Um, that's just Doom Orb is not that good for me because you always end up dying and you lose half your stacks, you know. So I would stick with Soul Reaver, it still benefits you. Or you can go with Spear of Desolation, it gives you 120 and a cooldown. It does give you cooldowns, by the way. It does. So that's another one that's pretty good, too. But I like my build, I stick with it. I, I swear by it. So you guys, please be sure to check out my YouTube channel. I got tons of other videos on there for building and doing a lot of other crazy builds. Um, I'm working on doing alternative builds at this time after I get a bunch of these other gods out to you guys. Please be sure to subscribe, like, or just view. Help me help you guys. Thanks again.